Audrey was born in, with a heart defect that didn't present until she was about three months of age. And uh, she was a happy, healthy baby um, to about three months where she wasn't eating as much and started to get fussy. And we went through several doctor's appointments and finally discovered that she did have um, a heart defect. And so we were transferred up to St. Louis Hospital. Um, we were, she was life lighted up there. It was that serious where we were there that evening of a Thursday and then that next day she was going into surgery. Um, she has what is called Alcapa, which is anomalous left coronary artery to her pulmonary artery. So her plumbing is not connected correctly in her heart. And her heart became very enlarged. And she went in to have the surgery on that Friday and to correct it and everything went well. And um, we were told we'd have a honeymoon phase and we kind of did. Probably just a little bit over 24 hours after getting out of surgery, she went into a cardiac arrest. Her pressures went low. Yeah, and basically her heart was just so sick that uh, it had enlarged so much that it just couldn't squeeze. It's kind of like a pumped up football. To, you just can't hardly squeeze it because it's so enlarged. Um, and she had a couple more heart attacks. They were doing chest compressions on her, uh, on her open chest, and they put her on uh, ECMO, or life support. And we made it uh, eight days uh, and got off ECMO. <clears throat> and then we were in the hospital for about two months. And at the end of that time, we were just really just having lots of problems and her heart was just so sick that it just, her original heart just, just couldn't do it. Uh, we never, she never was able to get off the ventilator. She was able to get off of um, off the ECMO machine and, and a few other things, but she was still connected to 10 different IVs uh, and medications. Um, and, and so April 22nd, 2010, the day that changed our lives and her life, um, doctor rushed up and said, in a rare set of circumstances and perhaps a miracle, we have a heart for Audrey and you need to make a decision in 10 minutes as to whether or not you want it. And so Yvette called me because I was at work and, and we made the decision and she had the surgery and literally um, in the time it took me to drive to St. Louis from Glendale, the surgery was almost done and four hours after that she was pink and her arms were moving and her legs were moving and it was just a, like a totally different child. Granted what our heart does for us. And we saw it firsthand where she couldn't get off the ventilator. She, her system started to shut down. And, you know, she just never really could, could get well. And we just, we, as adults now, we just really take for granted what our heart does for us. And um, we, she was listed on the heart transplant list whenever we got there to St. Louis Children's Hospital. But we never expected her to have a heart transplant, and we really didn't want to go that route, but that's what really ended up saving her. And um, today, to this day, she takes two anti-rejection medicines on a daily basis to help keep her body from rejecting the organ, and she's just doing fantastic. So we're really, truly blessed to have her. And um, you know, many times when we were there, the surgeons and the physicians talked about what the leading research talked about and what you know, what another hospital was doing and what's the clinical evidence. And so that's something that, you know, the American Heart Association does. It helps provide funds to be able to make that research happen. And an average transplanted heart these days lasts about 15 years. So we are really looking to have that research happen because what we knew about heart disease, cardiovascular disease 15 years ago has greatly changed. And um, when we think about the future for her, there's a lot of possibilities for the future when funds can be provided and research that can happen in the area of transplantation and also cardiovascular health.